walking home from school. There's deep snow crunching on the ground and my feet are tingling cold. I have on Wellingtons and green woolen mittens threaded through my sleeves with elastic. I get to my street and before I can get to our house, Auntie Ruby comes out of it in a black fur hat and hurries me away. Oh, the might, oh, the might, she says. In my head, it muddles with Almighty God, whose son suffered and died because he loved us. Imagine the nails, Mary. Imagine the nails, Sister Bridget says, being driven into our Lord's beautiful hands. Think of the pain, Mary. Think of the blood as the nail is driven from sinew and bone and soft, soft flesh. He suffered this because he loved us so much. I'm thinking this all the way to Auntie Ruby's. I'm thinking, let the dark thing not happen. I will dwell upon the suffering of our Lord. I will drive nails into my own hands, only let it not happen. Ruby's house is cold and dark and something terrible is wrong. The praying didn't work. My food congeals on the plate. My heart is lodged in my throat like a stone. Why can't I go home? But I know the world has ended. Oh, you poor mother. Your poor mother is what they say. That chop will be put in front of you at every meal until you eat it. But my throat is closed. I'll never eat again. Days pass. They put my mother in the ground, they say. She's deep in the ground, up by the moor. But won't she be cold? How will she breathe? How will she eat? Won't she be lonely? It's Christmas, and my poor mother is deep in the ground, up by the moor. I go back to my house. No point lighting a fire, says my father. We won't be having a tree. On Christmas Day, I sit hunched in my coat, longing for my poor mother to come up out of the lonely cold ground, watching my father drink a bottle of whiskey. I'm mad with grief, he says. Forgive me. I don't know what grief is, but I start to cry anyway. I cry louder and louder, but my mother never comes and my father doesn't wake. Through the wall, I can hear the neighbours having a sing-song. 